Shiite divisions even more. You're going to create a Lebanon situation of the 80s, the Afghanistan situation of the 80s. You're going to recreate it now, okay? And that's going to create even more terrorism across the world, <laughs> not just the region. This is potentially World War III that we're looking at. That's what I'm most yeah, but of course, of. You know, the, the, yeah, but the argument, of course, if you're in Israel, is that they could be facing potentially World War III from somebody that they see as completely unstable for some of the reasons I've stated with these statements he's made on the record, particularly in relation to Israel, and they worry that if he is in possession of a nuclear weapon, he wouldn't hesitate to carry out some of the threats and statements that he's made. And don't they have a right to feel vulnerable about that? So you basically are defending the preventive war doctrine, which goes back to Bush. So, um, frankly... Well, no, no, but no, 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 I don't, I don't actually. And in fact, just to clarify, I would have agreed about the futility of the Iraq war, for example. But in this case, it seems to me that Unlike uh, with Saddam Hussein, you actually have Ahmadinejad threatening to exterminate Israel. Where does he uh, And he's developing, and he is developing ever faster nuclear capacity. Now that is a matter for concern, isn't it? Well, where is he, where is he currently threatening to destroy Israel? That is my question. Well, he's made statements which allude to that in the past. Allude to it, okay. The dissolution of the Israeli state. That's like saying we want the dissolution of the Soviet Union. It doesn't mean anyone's going to launch nuclear weapons to achieve it. You can do it through other means. Dialogue is an important, dis important path. For example, if you want to solve the situation, we should have dialogue with these countries again. We need to have a dialogue regarding the Israel-Palestine problem, the two-state solution, for example. We need to clarify. Also, the president does not rule this country as a dictator. It's not an autocracy. It's a republic. There's a supreme leader that he answers to. There's a parliament that he's, that he's going before in the, at this point in time to answer for corruption charges. So there's, it, it's very much like this country. Now, if you think one man, because uh, I've heard, for example, he talks to Jin, you know, genies. I mean, it's like these are the kind of allegations we get. Because he's lunatic, he's going to go and, and, and commit national suicide for a country that has a very proud tradition of the revolution going back 33 years that I saw rallies, demonstrations, and millions for. I mean, what may, there's no credibility to this report. This is just rumors. You're warmongering. You're spreading, you're, you're spreading rumors at this point. Well, that's certainly an opinion, Sean Stone, and I respect your opinion. I think I disagree with most of it, and many others will, but I respect you for having it. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Chris. Coming up, who will win the battle?